What's up, Africa? The African Cup of Nations is about to start! But we already know the winners and the losers. Yes, Equatorial Guinea was originally booted out of AFCON for cheating. But it's back in thanks to AFCON losers Morocco! Who didn't want the competition in their country because of Ebola. You see, as the then sports minister Mohamed Ouzine explained, Morocco's primary concern is the health of Africa. And he wants the best tournament for Morocco's African brothers. Although Morocco said it was genuinely concerned about its African brothers, that same Ebola concern was nowhere to be found a few weeks later, when it did go ahead and host the Club World Cup, including a Spanish team. Spain, a country that's had three cases of Ebola. It's like Morocco is stigmatizing Ebola in Africa just like the West. Let's face it, Morocco may be here, but for years it's been trying to get in here! King Hassan, the ex-monarch of Morocco, once said that his country was a tree with its roots in Africa and its branches over Europe. In 1980, Morocco took part in the Eurovision Song Contest with a song called Love Message. And it's been officially lobbying to join Europe since 1987. So why is Morocco so obsessed with Europe? Could it be some kind of identity crisis? So, Mr. Morocco, close your eyes, think about your country, and tell me what you see. <laughs> The Eiffel Tower! Huh? Or perhaps this isn't an identity crisis. Maybe Morocco is actually choosing the identity it wants when it wants it. A new Ebola outbreak kills 7,000 Africans. Morocco acts all European. African Development Bank announces a 1 billion loan for African countries. Uh, Morocco's... African again. Come on guys, here's the thing. As an African, no matter how much you deny your roots, the truth will always come out. <laughs> I'm European through and through. That's it guys, my name's Ikenna Azwike, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon for another edition of What's Up Africa.